What's up everybody, it's AJ with eTrailer.com. Today we're gonna to be checking out this Hughes Autoformer generator adapter plug. So what this is gonna do is we're gonna plug this into the floating neutral generator we have here. And when we go to plug in our surge protector, it's gonna detect that it doesn't have a floating neutral anymore. Let's check it out. So what this is gonna do is sometimes when you use one of your smart surge protectors with the lights on there that give you the code, Sometimes you won't allow you to use the power because it says there's an error, which you have a floating neutral or an open ground. It's going to detect that and think it's not usable power. So what this does is this is going to plug into the generator here that has the floating neutral and it's going to create a bond. So then it doesn't have that floating neutral anymore. Then these codes should say it's all clear and should have power. So let's test it out. We're going to plug in our surge protector see what codes it's pulling up. You can see right here with the one yellow light means there's an open ground. So it's letting you know there's an error, thinks there's an error. We can change that by plugging that adapter in. We'll have to re-unplug the surge protector first, plug the adapter in, now re-plug in the surge protector, and let's see what it says. Looks like we've got two yellow lights. It's got a good connection, so it's good to go. Overall, I think this adapter is good to have especially if you aren't on soft ground where you can actually ground your generator. These champions have floating neutral, so you do need to ground them. If you're not on that kind of ground where you can do that, let's say you're tailgating in a parking lot, this would be really good to plug that in. That way, at least you have a bonded neutral and you can use your generator. Well, I think that does it. Thanks for hanging out and hope this helps.